Treasury Secretary Jack Lew's surgery on Monday to deal with the benign and large prostate went as planned. The 58-year-old Lew will be released from a New York hospital today. Health experts say more than half of men in their 50s and 60s have an enlarged prostate. At MedStar Georgetown, there's a new clinical trial changing the way the condition is treated. And this new approach may help lots of men with a very common problem. And not being able to go to the bathroom, it's a big part of life. You don't realize it until you can't do it. 68-year-old Ron Simmons of Woodstock, Virginia, first started having urinary problems 10 years ago. As he grew older, trips to the bathroom both night and day became more frequent and more painful. What was happening to Ron is a problem common to most men over age 50. He had an enlarged prostate. The prescription drugs Flomax and Terazosin help relax the muscle behind the prostate, allowing Ron to empty his bladder. But his prostate gland continued to grow. And I was at a point when I came here, I was on the absolute maximum dosage of Terazosin. I couldn't take any more. Invasive surgery could correct the problem, but the side effects to that made it an unattractive option. Then Ron learned MedStar Georgetown University Hospital was enrolling men in a clinical study of a new, non-surgical, minimally invasive procedure called prosthetic artery embolization, or PAE. I didn't think there would be that much interest in alternatives, to be honest with you. Dr. James Spees is an interventional radiologist at Georgetown and the study's principal investigator. He says the best candidates for PAE are between 50 and 90 years old with no prior surgical or laser therapy to treat the prostate and no prostate cancer. The prostate gland also has to be moderately enlarged, but it cannot be too large. So when we talk about grams, that's 50 to 100 grams. I was at 97, so I was almost at a point of no return. Using x-ray guidance, Dr. Spees inserted a catheter through the artery at the top of Ron's leg. Then tiny beads were injected into the artery surrounding the prostate, blocking its blood supply. That results in the shrinkage of the gland, and in most cases, patient symptoms will be relieved. The entire procedure took 90 minutes, recovery is fast and less painful. Ron was home the next day. Any man that could have the PAE over any other procedure, it's absolutely a no-brainer. You just have to go for it. While PAE could be an effective alternative treatment for most men with an enlarged prostate, Dr. Spees says for the moment it's not a replacement for the current standard therapies. MedStar Georgetown is still enrolling participants for the PAE study. We have more on our WUSA9.com page under health.